What's up guys? For today's video it's going to be something a little different than normal. This one's going to be a tagged video. Jason, the best backpacker, tagged me to do a uh, your backcountry hygiene kit. Um, if you're not familiar with Jason, the best, the best backpacker, I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, more than likely if you're watching my video you definitely know who he is already. And essentially the tag is you go over what your hygiene kit is that you carry in the backcountry and then traditionally you would tag three other people. So I'm going to go over the basic kit that I carried um, on my last trip, which would be, this is everything right here, this whole bundle was my hygiene kit. That was what I carried on my three day trip that I had at, uh, up to Picture Rocks. And I've got some other stuff here that uh, kind of gets switched in and out depending on if it's a day hike or um, just a single night or if it's, you know, multi-night, I just kind of trade things in and out. I'm going to start with the, uh, the big setup first. Um, number one keep in a Ziploc bag is my roll of TP with the uh, cardboard taken out. I started with a whole roll because you know eventually you're going to use it anyway. I'll just start with the whole roll work my way down. And then I carry these. Um, they're from Assured. I got them from the Dollar Tree. Um, they're essentially dude wipes you can call them. I like to have them for obviously when you're done make sure you're not fresh and clean and they work great for uh, you know getting your pits and stuff like that. Or your face gets sweaty. It's just a nice kind of just to freshen up in general. They have a little bit of a scent to them, so it's it kind of helps as a cheap deodorant, if you want to call it that. And um, oh, as far as the toilet paper goes, I use the wrapping dissolving stuff. It's um, typically would be used for your RVs or marine. It's um, in a full roll, just like you normally would have, but it's supposed to dissolve a lot quicker and be more biodegradable. I figure even if it's a little bit better than regular paper, it's a step in the right direction. Then uh, the rest of my stuff, I keep in this nice little Crown Royal bag. I have several, these make great ditty bags. I have uh, several of these. I'm not telling you where I got them. All right. Um, along the line of wipes, um, I carry usually one um, in there. It's, it's called a Venture Wipe. The thing is, it's massive. It's like 12 by 12, really heavy duty. This works great for um, just like a massive cleanup. So if you fall in the mud or something, then you can use this to help get the crap off. Um, I just, I like it for just that backup because if I'm really dirty, I'm not climbing my seat, my sleeping bag that way. So I want just that, that extra assurance. Um, another one, hand sanitizer. Um, this was another dollar store one. I mean, it's a little bit bigger than you probably would carry, but with the carabiner, I'll typically on the bungees on the back of my pack is where I would I would keep that. Um, and I keep a tiny bottle of lotion. Um, my feet are always dry. Um, I work in a machine shop, so I'm on my feet 11, 12 hours a day. So my feet are always they're just dry and cracked and everything. So um, I like to keep a bottle of lotion, especially right before bed. To, just to kind of keep the dryness at bay. Um, this one is debatable. Um, for bigger trips, I'm gonna because of the uh, the added funk, but I will carry a travel size um, stick of deodorant. If it's an overnighter, I'm not gonna worry about it because you either don't stink that bad or it's it's doable because you're headed home anyway. But for multi-day, I'm gonna use um, typically wipe my pits with this and then just freshen up with that just so I can stand myself. It's more of a morale thing. Um, for my teeth, I have one of these little Z-Packs um, toothbrush kits. I'll show it to you if you have never seen them before. And it's got just this little itty bitty tube of toothpaste. Let me show you compared to like your, your travel size ones. You can see how tiny that is. And then you can refill this by putting it um, up to the end of it and then just squeeze it in there. And then the toothbrush itself comes into two pieces. So then you essentially have a more or less a full size toothbrush. Uh, I just picked that up because it was, uh, I ordered something from Z-Packs anyway, and it was relatively cheap. So I went ahead and got it just for the compactness. Prior to that, I would use your travel size or like what the, the dentist gives you. And then uh, just one of these cheapies. So like I said, the only reason I switched was just to wasn't for weight or anything, it was just to keep everything all in one little bundle. I thought this was kind of a neat little package, that's why I picked that up. That's going to kind of wrap up the main like 
what I would take for sure on a, a big trip. Um, once in a while, I'll carry this little shovel. It's gonna, again, it's gonna depend on if I want to carry this or not. If I've got the room, it's a metal folding shovel. It's it's five ounces. I know you ultra lighters are probably cringing at that, but it's not that big of a deal. Like I said, it's hit or miss. This is more gonna be long on uh, a day hike with me. And then along the lines of day hikes, I won't carry a full roll of paper. I've got these, uh, this one is made by Coleman. It's a hard plastic uh, dispenser. And it just, so these are nice because it's kind of crush proof in your pack. They don't take up a lot of space. Um, if it was just like an overnighter, I would probably take this over the, the full roll because it's not, not that big of a deal. It's not gonna take up the, the space. And they, they sell replacement. It's about the size of the cardboard tube that you'd take out of a standard roll. You know, these are like, I've seen these at sporting goods stores, Walmart, like in the uh, boating RV section. Um, and these also say they're um, the biodegradable type for uh, your marine and RV type toilets. And then uh, this one, like I said, is kind of like on occasion. It's a uh, camp soap. They're if you remember like the Listerine breath strips, that's kind of what these are like. They're just these little sheets. They work pretty well for washing your hands. You just, they lather it pretty well. Uh, once in a while too, um, I'll drop a couple of these in a uh, stuff sack or your, like your dry bag and uh, put my clothes in there, put some water in there and you can agitate that up. And it, uh, it's not the greatest, but it does add a little bit of soap. You can kind of clean your uh, clothes just that little bit. So that pretty much sums up what my hygiene kit is. I mean, it's it's nothing special. Um, this pack fits down in you know, between stuff. It's always out of the way. And this this is probably a little bit bulkier than what most people would want to carry, but it, it sits right on top of the pack anyway. It, it doesn't take up a lot of space for me. All right, so then uh, I'm supposed to tag three people. I tried to choose three people that would most likely see this video and know that they were tagged. And continuing on with the tradition, I'm going to tag another Jason. Uh, my first tag is going to be backpacking with Jason. If you're not familiar with Backpacking with Jason, I will include a link in the description below. Um, definitely check his channel out. He's got lots of great footage on Red River Gorge. He does solo trips. He's got other trips with um, fellow YouTubers, and it's just, it's a great channel overall, so make sure you go check that out. So for my second tag, I thought we should get a woman's perspective on it, so I'm going to tag Section Hiking the AT. So if you haven't seen her channel, it's definitely worth checking out. I'm also going to put that a link in the description box. She goes by the trail name of Sweeps, and obviously by the name Section Hiking the AT, that's exactly what she's doing. And she's got um, um, really good video quality. Um, she shows lots of the trail. There's uh, mile markers and she tells you what trail she's going on, where she's headed to, the campsite she's at. So if you're someone who wants to do certain sections of the AT or you're just curious about the different kinds of stuff like that, it's definitely worth checking out. And for my last tag, I'm going with Hawkeye Hikes. And I'm going to repeat myself again, but as you said, as you heard before, uh, link in the description box check, you know, for checking out his page. That's another one you're definitely going to want to check out. He's got some uh, great footage of the uh, the Shenandoah area. He just got back from a Smoky Mountains trip, uh, three days there. That was a three-part video. That's worth checking out. And definitely make sure you check out the very first video he's got on his channel. There's some really good bear pro tips in there for you. So those are my three tags. Um, if you guys are seeing this, um, it is for fun. If you don't want to do it, don't feel like you have to do it. But if you do, uh, comment down below. Let us know that you're going to go ahead with it. And then once you do, I'll go ahead and put your link in the description box to that video so everyone can find it easily. All right, so if you guys stuck around this long, I definitely appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd, lo I'd love to have you subscribe. Make sure you click the bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.